bad things. It's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 on me. Yeah. Hey, hey. She said. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time I upload, which is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But you know, I don't know what time I upload, so you need to be notified when I do. You are not already. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Hair Life. So I got um, some new makeup, not like a whole bunch of new makeup, but I got some new makeup and I was so excited to try it. The thing that I was most excited about was Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy highlighter. Like y'all, get into this though. Do y'all see that? My highlights, honey, is so disrespectful right now. <laughs> Girl, Reezy, girl, you did that. ColourPop concealers, I was super excited about that as well, and I'm loving those. So I'm not going to talk too much, you guys. Let's get right. So like I said, I got some new products. So um, this was sent to me by Pure a while ago, and I'm just now trying it today. Y'all, I've used it. It saved my dried up ABH pomade. I'm to wet my brush for my lid colors, and now I'm about to spray some on my face. So, I'm really liking this spray so far. It is definitely very hydrating. Um, and the only thing I don't really like about it is that it smells like pine salt to me. Like, it smells exactly like pine salt. So, I'm not sure what that means, but I mean, it is hydrating. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I don't have a new primer. So, I'm going to just go ahead and use my Fenty Primer. The next product that I have actually is new and I have been wanting to try this for a while and Ulta, um, I'm not sure if it's still going on, I'll check and let you guys know, but they were having a uh, buy two, get one free for Maybelline and a couple of other brands, but it's not mix and match. I have the Maybelline Master Cameo uh, Corrector Stick. I don't see a color on here, but it's just this peach color one. So I'm assuming that you like twist it up. Oh. All right, we got some out. So it is a peach shade and I'm gonna use this to correct my dark circles and my hyperpigmentation around my mouth. So let's see how this works. I kind of scored it out a lot on accident. Okay, I love this applicator off top. It fits up under my eye perfectly and it is not too worn. And using this saves me from having to get something else to like blend it out because I pretty much blended it out with the tip. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm using Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. If you guys have not seen my review on this foundation, I will put it in the eye as well as in the description box. So y'all know that the color that I have is uh, too yellow for me. Not necessarily too dark, but it was just like too golden. So I went back and got toffee. Like I said, if you haven't watched my review, then I'm just mixing this with oil because it is super matte and my skin is a tad bit too dry to just go in with this foundation by itself. Okay y'all, so one thing I noticed about this foundation, it definitely does oxidize. So honestly, I feel like I could get the shade in front of this, which is Warm Honey, because it does oxidize. But I'm not going back, I'm not getting ready to keep playing around with this Maybelline foundation, I'm just not. So yeah, we are gonna work with Toffee. Okay. 
Okay y'all, so for concealer, I do have new concealer and I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealers and I have it in the shade Tan 50 and then Golden 40. So here are the two shades that I have and I guess I'll swatch them. So this right here, I hope y'all can see that it's Tan 50. And then here is 40 Golden. Okay, so already looking at these, I can already tell which one I'm going to use. Tan 50 almost looks like it's close to my skin color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Golden 40. Ooh, this is super, super, super creamy. I love that. And I love this applicator. It's like the same type of applicator that the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer has and I love that. Y'all, this is so creamy. It's just like sliding onto my skin like butter right now and I'm living for it. Back and I'm trying to hurry up because I don't know if this dries fast or not. Okay. I don't think it dries too fast because it is blending out really, really easy. I'm living for this right now. Oh yeah. Yo, this is only six dollars, y'all. Like ColourPop came all the way through with this for real. Y'all, I'm loving this freaking concealer right now. The fact that it's only $6 is really like blowing me right now because it is pretty full coverage to me. Y'all know I'm extra and I go back and I usually add more concealer. I do not feel like I need to do that at all. Like this concealer looks amazing right now. Now I see why people have been raving about this because this is bomb. Okay, so I'm definitely going to get this in a darker shade so I can contour with this as well because it just blended out so well. I Listen, it blended out so good. So I'm definitely going to do that. So let me go ahead and set my face. I don't have anything new to set my face. I'm gonna just use my Airspun Extra Coverage Translucent Powder. And I don't have anything new to powder contour with. So I'll be back in a minute for the highlight. So I'm about to try my new highlighter. I love Emreezy. She is a slay queen, honey. Always land. So I had to pick up her highlight, y'all. Her glow is always insane and disrespectful as hell. So I had to pick this up and I had to get a new highlight brush for this occasion. So I got the Morphe M310. Um, it was one of the best sellers on there. And y'all know, I really don't ever use a fan brush. I always use the Morphe M510. Oh. I'm gonna take my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray, spray my face, and then before it dries, we're gonna apply this highlighter. There's no fallout. Y'all know I love my highlight. Do y'all see this? <sighs> I'm living. I'm living for this freaking highlighter. Like, y'all. This is that highlighter that'll go with any look. Like, when you don't know what highlighter to grab, you grab this one. And y'all know I love ABH highlighters, but um, this is not the same formula as the other highlighters. I'm just saying, it's just not. And y'all know I love me an ABH highlighter. This is blinding, blinding. Do you hear me? This is gorgeous. So on this side, I am gonna use my Morphe M510 brush. Okay, so I am liking the application a bit better with the fan brush. Y'all, let me tell you. I'm about to be just drenched in this highlighter because, with like, why not? Like, this is lit. But you know what? I already knew she didn't come to play because, like I said, her highlight is always 
on 10,000. So, girl. And y'all know I love my nose highlights. So, yeah. so I'm about to go the hell in on my nose. If y'all want somebody to see your highlighter from a mile away as they should, girl, listen, you better get this before it's gone. I was on the site. As soon as I woke up that day, I was on the site and I'm like, um, I'm on the website refreshing like, where's the highlighter? Girl, as soon as it was 12 o'clock, I refreshed it. Boom, there it was. I got mine within seconds of it launching. I was not about to play around because I already know. Wait a minute, wait, 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 look at that. Bam. Forget it, I'm putting it up here too. This wasn't even a part of the eyelid. I don't care. It's going right there. Hold on, hold on, back this up. Packaging? This, y'all, the packaging though, is just so just luxurious. And I don't want to blind y'all. It has a mirror. Like, I have been waiting, waiting for a highlighter with a mirror on it. Like, oh my God. Listen, this glow is ridiculous. I'm here for it. Bad things. It's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 on me. Yeah. Hey, hey. She said, G, I got the V, V, S, I, C, E, O. Flow like a cooler. Juice, juice. Blame it on my jewel.